I got to hear about Curating Cambridge, a project that was about the city of Cambridge and the people's stories and their stuff. I was really lucky that they commissioned My Home is My Museum. My Home is My Museum came about after many visits to museums over a number of years. They're places that I love and in fact places I've worked in in the past. And when I went home and looked at the objects in my own home, I began to think about it as a collection about all those things that I'd amassed over the years. And that set me thinking about the collections that are in houses the length and breadth of the land. It seemed logical to try and create a collection of these hidden things so that they were somehow made public and the stories attached to them could be enjoyed by everybody because I was convinced they would be fascinating. So the first section and phase of the project that I planned was an online collection of objects that the public of Cambridge donated. Um, and I say donated loosely because they were actually donated in pictorial form and in verbal stories that were then housed on the Curating Cambridge website. And these were fascinating. They ranged from a, a, sh a shed snakeskin to a ship in a bottle and a really beautiful charm bracelet with all sorts of different charms. We worked with the Museum of Cambridge and they very kindly um, housed an exhibition of a selected number of the objects that had been donated by the public. And the curator from the Museum of Cambridge selected certain objects that she felt had a relationship with the objects in her care at the museum. And for a short period of time, uh, the public who had offered those objects to the online collection actually donated the physical things to the museum and they were on display there um, alongside the actual museum objects and interpreted in labels, making their stories even more visible. I wanted there to be a personal aspect to the project. So we had all these wonderful objects that people had donated and that were on the online collection. But what was hidden behind the front doors and on the mantelpieces of Cambridge houses? Some very brave Cambridge people came forward and offered their houses as a place for a performance. Welcome. My name's Caroline Wright and I'm your tour guide for the performance this evening. Welcome to this home. I tried to create a performance that really spoke to the character and atmosphere of each house. So where it was a cosy sitting room, I invited the audience to come in and sit down and relax on the sofa, where the house seemed a little bit more um, formal, perhaps. Uh, I used classic museum red rope barriers on stands to cordon off sections of the room so that the audience had to remain standing. The script that became the final piece combined the actual words of the house owner um, facts and, and, and uh, research around the objects with a little bit of humour thrown in and the odd embellishment. If I could ask you to all follow me please as we go and on to the next home where we're going to look at their collection. Please follow me. Some time ago I'd read a really fascinating paper by the researcher Rachel Hurdley who's based at the University of Cardiff and it was entitled Dismantling Mantelpieces and it talked all about the mantelpiece as a place where we display things and as a focus for a sitting room and so I took the mantelpiece as a central core to the performance. I invited Rachel to come and talk at the final phase of My Home is My Museum, which was a discussion event held at the Museum of Cambridge and open to members of the public and also attended by those who donated their objects and been part of the performances. Rachel spoke about her work and research into the home, into materiality and mantelpieces. And to accompany her, I invited Lotta Yule Peterson, who was the curator of Wising Arts Centre just outside Cambridge. Lotta had done a lot of work with artists who made uh, work in relation to the domestic environment. To accompany the discussion event that happened at the end of the project, I was able to produce a publication in association with Curating Cambridge that brought together an essay by both Rachel and Lotta and some writing by myself as a reflection on the project, on the performances and on the wonderful objects that the public had donated.